Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's that time of year again. It's football. NFL big time football. And you know what that means? That means that Sportsman Z is back with another year of picks. I am actually going into my fifth season of picks with four previous seasons in the books. And over that four-year period, I have a record of 642 and 407, a 612 pick percentage or 61.2% of my picks being done correctly, picking the winning team. So if you are going to the, uh, you know, placing the bets, playing the fan duel, whatever it is, and you need to have 61% of your picks right. I'm your man. So anyway, that means that we are going to do another season. This is season five of Sportsman Z's NFL Picks. Now, this year, as you can see, this video is going up on a Wednesday. This year, the, the Picks videos will go up on either Wednesday or Thursday morning because I am going to need some time to do some editing. And, uh, you know, last year I put it up on, I put them up on Tuesday and that was really a kind of a rushed schedule, you know, considering Monday night football usually didn't finish until like 1130 or midnight. So this year, look for the picks videos on either Wednesday or Thursday morning, first thing. And with that, all of that housekeeping out of the way, let's get into the picks. Uh, the first game of the year, the kickoff game for the NFL's 2023 season will be the Lions at the Chiefs on Thursday. Yeah, I uh, am going to go with the Chiefs in this one. Pick the Chiefs. No, really, pick the Chiefs. I know the Lions are an upstart team, but we really haven't yet seen it. And also, my disclaimer here is week one, as you know, I usually pick the home team unless the visiting team is just vastly superior. And in this case, that's not the case. So we're going to take the Chiefs on Thursday night. Uh, going to the Sunday games, the first game I've got on the docket is the Bengals at the Browns. Uh, I'm going to go with the Browns in this one because they are they are at home and the Bengals are missing Burrow at least to start the season, I believe. So um, I'm going to go with the Browns in this one at home. Uh, the next one is the Texans at the Ravens. Quote the Raven nevermore. And that's what they're going to say to the Texans. I'm going with the Ravens in this one. Take the Ravens again at home. They're a better team. They... Um, you know, they have Jack, they re-signed Jackson. They've you know, got, uh, you know, they've got a lot of weapons. The Texans, they're not there yet. Uh, the next one is the Buccaneers visiting the Vikings. I'm going to go with the Vikings here. Now, the Vikings last year, they had a great record. But that was mainly smoke and mirrors because they were coming back. Um, they were giving up a lot of points early and they were coming back late uh, to win games by a point and, you know, that kind of stuff. So... I'm going to go with the Vikes on that one at home over the Buccaneers, especially since the Buccaneers are going to probably be run by uh, Baker Mayfield, who you know I have a great deal of disdain for, so dig the Vikings. Uh, the next game is the Panthers at the Falcons. I'm going to go with the Falcons. I'm going with the Falcons at home. I think that the uh, another year under the belt of their uh, starting quarterback, I forget his name, and, you know, that's just, uh, that's how notable he is. But with another year under his belt, he played a lot last year. Um, and, uh, and the Falcons are at home. And the Panthers are still kind of, we don't know. They're going to have a rookie quarterback. <clears throat> uh, they're going to have a rookie quarterback. Maybe Richardson's his name. I don't remember. But anyway, you know, these nondescript guys. But I'm going to go with the Falcons in that one. Cardinals at the Commanders. I'm going with the Commanders at home. Um, the Cardinals are probably going to be the worst team in football this year. 
and the Commanders have gotten better. Howell is going to be their quarterback, and he has gotten, well, he's gotten one official game under his belt and a full spring as the starting quarterback for the Commanders. So look for the, for the Commanders to beat the Cardinals. Now, the next game, next few games, next three games, or three or four out of the next five, we're going to go with the visiting team. And uh, that's going to start with the Jaguars visiting the Colts. I'm going with the Jaguars here. I think the Jaguars are going to win the AFC South. And I think the Colts are just in disarray. So um, the whole thing with last year, and it's carried over into this year, the Colts just aren't ready. And the Jaguars, they are. Uh, the next game is the 49ers visiting the Steelers. I'm going with the 49ers. Now, the 49ers have had a tumultuous offseason. Um, as you well know, they uh, traded Trey Lance to the uh, Cowboys. And so now their third-string quarterback is Brandon Allen. I, apparently, they feel like that's a good thing. But the Steelers, I don't think, are quite ready. I know Pickett had a year last year to play and he's got a year under his belt but I still don't think the Steelers are quite up to the level of the uh, 49ers with their defense and with the way that they can play so I'm going to go with the 49ers on the road and then the Titans at the Saints same thing here I'm taking the Titans on the road uh, I don't think the Saints are quite ready Carr you know he's their new quarterback and he should do a decent job he should make the Saints better than they were last year. But I still think that the Titans are an AFC contender. And I would not um, want to go out on a limb and say that the Titans are going to lose to the Saints just because the Saints are at home. Uh, the next one I'm taking the home team. It's the Raiders at the Broncos. I'm going to go with the Broncos. Uh, they've, you know, they've got their, um, they've got their uh, new coach. Um, and... Uh, and I think he's going to, uh, I think he's going to uh, instill a, uh, a a winning attitude with the team and um, and make that whip them into shape. I think the the Broncos have what it takes. They've got a good defense. If Russell Wilson plays just a little better than he did last year, even really just a little better, I think Sean Payton has got a, a winning team there. So um, I think with, you know, Sean Payton's influence, I'm going to take the Broncos at home against the Raiders, who, um, again, they're in kind of disarray from the off season. Now we're going to go back to a, a visiting team. We're going to take the Eagles over the Patriots. The Eagles are at New England, but I'm taking the Eagles big time. I think the Patriots are going to be the last place team in the AFC East. So, uh, enough said on that one. Uh, the Rams at the Seahawks. We're going with the Seahawks. Seahawks at home. Uh, I think they carry on what they were doing last year. And um, the Rams might actually be the second worst team in football this coming season. Next one is the Dolphins at the Chargers. Now, this one was a close one. Uh, I think the Dolphins are going to be very good this year. But the Chargers are a contending team in the AFC, and they're at home, and they got Justin Herbert. I'm going to go with the Chargers. Slight edge to the Chargers on that one. Next one you got is the Packers at the Bears. The Aaron Rodgers-less Packers. I'm taking the Bears because they're at home. It's a fresh season. I'm hoping that Justin Fields can be a better passer, at least, than he was last year. It's unlikely he'll be a better runner because he was a great runner. Now, if he can just couple that with passing effectively, then we got something. So um, I'm going to go with the Bears at home over the Packers. Next one you got is the Cowboys at the Giants. I'm going with the road team here. I'm going to take the Cowboys to beat the G-Men. The G-Men are much like... Um, much like the Vikings, they had a good year last year, but I think it was a smoke and mirrors year. I don't think that they really were as good as their record showed last year. Um, and the Cowboys, 
despite all the negative press that you see about the Cowboys every year on Facebook, on social media, on the, you know, the talk shows, the Cowboys will be a contending NFC team. And I'm going to go with them uh, to beat the Giants. And that brings us to the Monday night game. Now, the Monday night game, that was a tough one. Monday night, you got the Bills at the Jets. Now, the Jets are the Aaron Roger, Roger added, Aaron Rodgers added Jets. And uh, they added some other former Green Bay Packers. So Rodgers is right at home. And the Jets are literally at home. So I'm going to take the Jets here to beat the Bills. I don't want to say that the Bills' record last year was smoke and mirrors, but they do have some internal strife going on, and uh, they may have missed their window. We'll see if that's the case. But I think that on the road against the Jets with Aaron Rodgers at the helm, I, I'm going to like the Jets in that one. So, what did you guys think? You like my picks? Uh, leave a comment in the uh, description or in the uh, comment section, and... Um, let me know who you would pick or who you would differ with me on. But that is your week one picks in the books. And that is it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.